Hello guys, welcome to this quick video and an announcement actually of something I've just spotted. This is absolutely massive news, okay? For anyone like me who likes motion projection, it really is essential for smooth VR. Windows Mixed Reality have just, well actually I've just noticed this. I, don't, I can't see any announcements anywhere, but this is massive news, okay? Right now, I don't, can you see the frame rate? I'm getting 22.5 frames per second. Oh my god, that's amazing. With everything maxed out, I'm at Farnborough, uh, which is Burning Blue Design's incredible rendition, but it's also very heavy on frame rate. And I'm getting motion projection. This is incredible. That basically means that the Windows Mixed Reality uh, software with the Reverb G2 is now as good as the Oculus software when it comes to motion projection. You can go down to a quarter of the frame rate. So you've got 22.5, actually no, that's more, hang on, 22.5, 30 frames per second, and then you've got 45 frames per second. Now I wonder if there's anything in between that as well. But that means we have a third frame motion projection. Now, this is a completely raw video, guys, because I've just this second realized this. Well, I've just gone for a flight uh, from where well, I've been everywhere, actually, to be honest today. But the important thing is this has made a huge difference. You can actually up those sliders even more. Now, I can do a more in-depth video on this if you want me to. But all you need to do, guys, okay... And hopefully you can see that. You see preview mode? I've got preview mode enabled. I think at the moment you need that on in order to enjoy the lower frame rate with motion projection on. That's exactly what Oculus has been doing for many, many years. And Windows Mixed Reality and Steam VR have been behind for so long now. But it's so... I'm doing this, by the way. This is a good test. If you ever want to check your motion projection, just go side to side in the cockpit. And if it's incredibly smooth, then you know you're okay. Now, I suppose the negative of this is that you will occasionally get a few uh, stutters when the motion projection changes from 22.5 to 30 frames per second. That's no biggie in my opinion. You know, you're going to get a few stutters here and there. But generally speaking, I've noticed that that's probably why it's in beta at the moment. That, you know, it transitions a little bit clunky at the moment. And also you might get a bit of waviness every now and then. But for me personally, I much prefer motion projection enabled. And this is a massive deal, guys. Oh my god, this is incredible. So yeah, please let me know in the comments. Have a go. And uh, if you want me to go into this in more in-depth detail which you probably do, <laughs> I'll try and get a video out very soon. Take care and bye for now. That's incredible.